What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel and in this video what we're going to be doing and what I'm going to be walking you guys through is the silent and sneaky approach. So for the gunner what we went with was Patrick McCreary because you never know if things are going to go uh, basically sour on this one. And then we went with the worst driver and then of course the best hacker which is Avi Schwartz. So let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to be walking you guys through this so potentially if you're ever doing this with your friends and or you know random people potentially you're the one that's going to be knowing what's going on here so for the entrance i'm going to be choosing this right here okay so we're going to go staff we're going to go to the staff lobby right there and then for the exit we're also going to be going staff lobby there's going to be a lot of entrances and exits that you guys can choose but just for this one particularly we are going to be choosing all of this stuff right here and of course putting it on high level any of the helicopters or the decoys i never buy because potentially that's more money that you have to dish out just for something that doesn't really matter um, in my opinion and personal experience while we're going through this so once again you guys i just wanted to let you know this is the silent and sneaky on hard mode and i do not suggest you guys are do the silent and sneaky approach what you should be sticking with is the aggressive and big con just going back and forth between those two heists right there because those are the better two heists uh in my personal experience and observations um in the game that are going to just get you you know where you want to be a lot quicker than the silent and sneaky once again there's some bad things that can happen is not being so silent and not being so sneaky which is why once again i did dish out the eight percent for patrick mccreary so we could go ahead and get the better guns all right so right now we're just heading to the back of the casino now we already got all of the key cards so we got both of the key cards right now so we don't have to do much hacking if any hacking whatsoever and then right here, we got these Mark II, I think, AK-47s that Patrick McCreary provided us with. Now, if you guys are going in the back, watch out for security cameras and stuff like that, okay? The last thing that you want to do is get caught right on the entrance point. Now, if you guys are trying to be silent and sneaky, this has to be coordinated pretty well. There's only two of you, three of you, or four of you. Maybe just have the better two of you do this part right here. So, we need to shoot that right there, the metal detector with a well it's going to be a taser and then from here we can either just kill the guards make sure you are not seen watch out for security cameras and other stuff like that you're gonna have to go ahead and take that stuff out otherwise you're gonna end up i would say alerting the alarm at that time which is not going to be good but i don't think there's been much of any times where i've done silent and sneaky where we don't end up you know alerting the guards or setting the alarms off or something like that so right here, we just have to like take these guys out. Maybe, you know, you can coordinate with your friends. One on the left, one on the right. You know, same time step like deal. All right. So I want to talk about this because this is something that I didn't really mention in any of my other help guides for doing the aggressive approach and or the big con is there's actually like a little mini vault in here if you guys didn't know. And then inside of this room, there's going to be a button that we can press that opens up that vault door. But just to let you know too, uh, going in, you're not going to get as much money out of the mini vault over here that we're about to show you than you would be then going basically robbing the vault and then coming back outward. So on your exit, okay? So on your entry, you're not going to get as much. And there's got a guy over here. Watch out for all the people. If anybody sees you, you're going to get busted. And I think I just got spotted right there from some dude like right behind me possibly. I don't know. Uh, who's seen me or who got spotted there there's a button right there okay opens up this door right over here if you guys never noticed this yeah check that out little mini vault in there if you guys didn't know about that but like what i've said before potentially you're not going to be making a lot of money and if you guys do have the opportunity of hitting it up potentially on the way out you know whatever you guys are doing the aggressive way or the big con but once again i would strongly suggest that you guys stay away from silent and sneaky big con and aggressive is going to be the best so right now we're just waiting on my friend to go ahead and get all of the money or whatever is in there in that little mini vault right there and then the door is going to pop back open real quick and i went ahead and uh, activated the elevator here so we can just run right inside of the elevator and then once again, this is why I got Patrick McCreary and these Mark II AK-47s is they're going to be taking care of anybody that we encounter. 
So once again, we're just waiting on our friend right there. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner, they really didn't get that much money. But once again, I just wanted to let you guys know too, on the entry, you're not going to get as much money out of the vault as you would on the exit. And I do think that you can hit it up twice. I'm not really sure about that. All right, so we're just going to shoot our way into the vault at this time because we did raise the alarm, which most likely is going to happen when you guys are doing the silent and sneaky approach. Just hopefully you're going to have some good guns. So whoever this is the host, hopefully they ended up choosing somebody decent with some nice guns that's going to like, you know, shoot your way through this because potentially that's what's going to happen. A lot of the times when you guys are like running this with random people, what I've noticed when I run this with random people is nobody really stays sneaky and or silent. Everybody just wants to kind of RNG it and just shoot their way in and shoot their way out. But also it's a, a good thing too, or like a tip is knowing, you know, the casino itself and knowing the surroundings. If you guys have ever ran in here before, you know, or if you know the glitch to get yourself glitched out and then you can actually explore in here, which is super awesome. All right, guys. So coordination right there. Swiped it at the same time. Jump down the hallway. So we're just going to keep on jumping down the hallway here until we get to the vault. Now, at this time, once again, we did raise the alarm. So it doesn't matter too much about the gas in there or anything like that. So once again, this week is dishing out diamonds. So here we go. We've got diamonds again which is awesome because I'd be getting diamonds every single time that I run this this week. All right, so I think for this one is the drill. So we have the drill and I just wanna go ahead and talk about this just for a second. If you guys ever have to do the drilling part, this is gonna be one of the easiest ways potentially of doing this and this is what I do. I spam R2 or I spam RT. Just spam it. Look at it. I'm just going. Dit, 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 dit. And you can see, like in the off in the right there, it's got that little bar. So if I spam it too much, then I'm just keeping it like right there in the red, like right there. And I'm not gonna overheat it. And I'm going pretty quick at this time, so I'm beating my friend. So we're gonna get through this last little plate. Look how fast that I did that. Bam, dude. That took me like a matter of seconds. And my friend is still on there. I was all spam it! <laughs> spam it, man! You gotta spam that R2 button. Rip through those plates. Don't overheat it, I says. <laughs> and then as soon as we get in here, of course, there's gonna be a thing that we're gonna wanna do. One person is going to start picking up diamonds and or whatever else you guys have in here. And then the rest of the three people need to do hacking, okay? So it's probably gonna be the fingerprint hacking, which is not terribly too hard, but you have to match up the fingerprint with, uh, well, these pieces of the fingerprint with four other little pieces of the fingerprint. And if you guys are doing this on hard, you're gonna have to do two of those, okay? So if you do have diamonds, that's awesome because diamonds are this week and it's pretty cool because they do give you a lot of extra money, which is really nice. And if I was going to be running uh, any heist this week, especially the casino heist, which, you know, it seems to take a little bit longer than any other heist to set up. So you can see there's three of us right now. We're all going for, we're all going for these diamonds. Every single heist that I'd be doing here. <laughs> Whether it's aggressive, big con, and or this. And my favorite probably is going to be aggressive. I'd have to say aggressive is probably going to be a little bit more easier. Although big con is super easy as well. So once again, if it was me and I was doing this, which I do, but I just wanted to go ahead and talk about the silent and sneaky way. So here real quick, let's talk about this and how we're going to be doing this scan real quick for the fingerprint. All right. So we have that fingerprint right there. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do is actually pick pieces that we can notice that are in the picture, like the big picture right there. And then we gotta pick four of them as well, okay? So just look at the pictures off to the left and then just notice that if it's a piece of the big fingerprint, and then from there, all you guys have to do is just find all four of them that you think, and then just go ahead and press Y or triangle. Once again, we are on a timer, so it is good to know how to do this. And if you guys are on hard mode, once again, I did mention that you will have to do this two times, which is what I'm having to do, but no more than two. It's kind of like the fingerprint scanner there over in Cape Perico, when you guys are going uh, basically the sewer way or like downwards. All right, so real quick, we're just gonna go ahead and pick some. Once again, just look at the pieces over here and then just keep looking like back and forth. Can be a little bit difficult, but eventually you guys will end up getting it right there. Just got that one again. All right, now I'm through the door, which is why earlier I said it's a little bit better if we do the hacking first. 
But if you guys are doing this with like four people potentially, then we have a lot of people do do like a lot of different work in here and pick up a lot of stuff, okay? And then also, if you guys do have enough time and you did get the drills, I strongly suggest you go for the lock boxes. But you know, and then of course at this time we've already alerted the alarm. So if you guys did want to go after some lock boxes, it doesn't really matter about the gas too much. You have quite a bit of time in there when the gas when the gas comes in. All right, so my friends are just in there getting the rest of the diamonds because once again this week diamonds are back in the casino. All right, so we're just waiting for my friend right here to come on out. Now, since we've already tripped the alarm, of course, we're going to be shooting our way out of here. Now, if you guys didn't trip the alarm and you're doing this silent sneaky, which once again, I suggest you just don't even do silent sneaky. Don't choose silent and sneaky. It's probably one of the more harder ones to do eventually. But once again, I would just be going back between aggressive and big con. Those are going to be the two best ones. And if you keep going back and forth, you're going to keep doing them on hard mode, which is going to be super awesome because you're going to be getting even more money out of there. All right, you guys, so here we go. We're gonna shoot our way out of here. Now, once again, we did choose the staff lobby. So that means that we're gonna have to go out the same way that we came in. And if there's four people here, we're all RG, like, you know, with these AK-47s that Packy or Patrick McCreary got for us. It's gonna work out pretty good in our favor. So we wanna go up here and we wanna get into the elevator. Since we tripped the alarm, which is probably going to happen with you guys if you were running silent and sneaky. Usually always does, especially with randoms. You know, and or a security camera sees you and or a guard spots you. Could be a little bit tricky. Alright, so we're going to pile up into the elevator. And then from here, when we get out of the elevator, we want to break left. Okay, so same with you and your crew. You want to go left here. You don't want to go out into that open area over there. That's going to be not good to go out into the open area. So you see like right here where we were before. And then also, once again, if you guys wanted to go ahead and get into that mini vault, now would be a good time to do that on your exit after you've gone into the vault. So right through here is going to be a guard up here. We're going to get this guy. And there's going to be some guards through the hallway. Just go ahead and pop them. Now, we don't want to go out into that big open area because, once again, that's a big open area. We're just kind of taking, like, a little bit of a shortcut over here. And then right here, we're going to break left. And then now we're going to be in the big open area. But we're over here, so it gives us the tactical advantage of shooting any of the NPC enemies that are in the open area right there. And then watch out right here. There might be a couple guards off to the left and right. I was getting shot in the back right there, you can see. There's a guy over there. So just be mindful of that, of all the guards. All right, now we're going to be exiting out the back of the casino. So once again, for this method, it's going to be the same as any other method. We are going straight for that helicopter, ladies and gentlemen. You only want to be going for that helicopter. And there's a very, very small chance that the helicopter will not spawn. But we're going to the back here on the racetrack. Nobody shoot at the cops right now, okay? We're going to wait till we get up here and we're going to shoot these SWAT team uh, members over here, but we're gonna wait till we get over here And the reason for that is because if you start shooting a whole bunch of cops right now You're gonna have a whole bunch of cops potentially spawn on the horse track and we don't want that We want to avoid the cops. We want to avoid getting shot because we want to keep the most amount of money You know and right now we have diamonds in each all uh, every single one of buddy's bag right here All right, so we're gonna take these guys out Potentially Shoot somebody in a helicopter that might be shooting at you there's going to be two cops down here, two SWATs, right there, there's the first one, and the second one, there you go. Now, if you guys are getting shot, don't forget to snack up. Everybody should know better to just get some snacks before you're doing things like this. So, in case of an emergency of you getting shot, you can quickly spam your snacks. It's that cool new way that they have just by popping open your weapon wheel. All right, guys, so at this point, we are looking for a car, potentially a four-door. That's going to be the best answer right there. A four-door because there's four of us. If there's just two of you, then you would just need a two-door, which is a little bit easier to find sometimes, like that right there. I think that was a two-door over there. We didn't want that one. So like a cop car, eventually the cops will find you. And when there is a cop car that rolls up on you, you're going to want to light them up like E.T.'s chest, just like that. Got ourselves a four-door. I'll be driving. 
I'll show you guys where the police station is if you don't know with the helicopter that you're gonna be taking out of here making it super easy instead of driving potentially now if the helicopter doesn't ever spawn you guys are gonna have to get back into your getaway vehicle and you're gonna have to head towards the train tracks okay wherever the train tracks are and or under the map the cops do not go in those two locations so here's the police station right off to the left of me we just need to go right up here i'm just kind of swerving back and forth to try to avoid us getting shot because we lose money when we get shot so right over here we're just going to park the vehicle right chia jump out of the vehicle and then start jumping now we're gonna have to go up here off to the right i strongly suggest you guys take turns one at a time here so nobody pushes themselves off the edge here because we've had that happen a couple times then we're going to jump up here and then once again we've got these air ducts up here and we're going to be jumping on top of those once again that has to be a single file line because it'll only allow one person at a time to jump up there as you see my friend was trying to jump up there my other friend was already up there so here we go i'm going to jump up my turn jump up again now my friend can jump up now if anybody's up here and they get up here before anybody else it's always good to potentially shoot the people that are shooting at you from the helicopters you know so your friends don't get shot and stuff like that and then you know the helicopter should be here either it's going to be an emergency helicopter and or you guys can get the police helicopter and once again if you don't get a helicopter then you're gonna have to get into that getaway vehicle and go under the map lose the cops and or drive on the train track all the way to where your destination is so for us we're just gonna fly all the way out into Polito bay because we chose the high level which is going to give us a even higher payout which is what you guys should be doing and then here we go we just lost all of our stars and then at this point we're just waiting for my friends to get in i don't know who these guys on a bike are <laughs> and it's that simple my friends the silent and sneaky way that wasn't so silent and wasn't so sneaky i'm not really sure who got busted there i think it was actually me because when the score comes up you'll see that i got last place and i think i'm the one that actually got busted from the camera that seen us and i meant to shoot the camera in there earlier when we went into the mini vault but anyways from there you guys check that out potential take 5.4 we ended up getting i think 3 million out of there not too bad and then i ended up getting a cool like million plus and then my friends ended up getting some money as well because we split the take but anyways from there you guys this is the silent and sneaky approach which i suggest you stay away from but anyways from there if the video was helpful and you guys ended up enjoying it hit the like button on the way out subscribe for more content and thank you for watching my name is gravesite i'll see you in the next one so peace